and FBI investigators under intense pressure worked around the clock to review the large volume of emails that surfaced, according to sources. And key to this effort was software that was refined from its previous use for the initial private server investigation. As one official said, without this technology, this would have taken a lot longer. And it turns out most of the emails were personal or duplicate emails that had already been reviewed by the FBI. So the probe is considered over for now when it comes to Hillary Clinton, with the FBI sticking to its initial recommendation of no charges. Though with not all of the deleted emails recovered and not all of the devices and the FBI's possession, it's always possible, of course, something else could turn up that would require more review. Now, as for the others who were part of the probe, including Huma Abedin, the FBI is still working on some remaining aspects of the review, including determining how the emails ended up on this laptop. We're told a 10-year-old laptop, an older one, in the first place. Now, Abedin's attorneys have said she doesn't know why these emails were there because this wasn't a computer she used. So the expectation remains that investigators will have to talk to Abedin again. And, and just to point out, it isn't uncommon to come across new evidence after concluding a probe, which is what happened here in October. Normally, investigators take a look to see if anything changes in their conclusions, and it's not a controversial issue. But of course, this case isn't a normal case given the election and the stakes. Now all the focus is on Comey and, and his decision he made to send that letter in the first place alerting Congress.